Good morning everybody, welcome to the video. In this video, I'll be talking about AWS Event Bridge Pipes. Yes, Event Bridge Pipes. This is a, a new feature that they have announced uh, this reInvent 2022. Let's take a look what uh, Event Bridge Pipe is, followed by a small interesting lab or a demo. Let's get started with the video. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen and we'll get started. So I won't spend too much time in the theory. Uh, rather, I want to show you a hands-on lab. So uh, I'll, 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 I'll try to cover up the theory part a little faster. Amazon Event Bridge Pipes helps you to create point-to-point -point integration between event producers and consumers with optional transform, filter, and enrich steps. Event Bridge Pipes reduces the amount of integration code you need to write and maintain when building event-driven application. Now this is really important because now we don't need to worry about uh, you know reading documentation. Okay, how do I fire? For an example, let's say you have an SQS message and you want to fire up a step function. Yeah, previously I had to go to the board of three, see you know the the client library, how to fire the step function, synchronous, asynchronous. Then I had to do the same for the SQS as well. I don't need to do that. I don't need to worry about the integration code. It's taken care uh, in, uh, in Event Bridge pipes. Event Bridge Pipes reduces the amount of integration code you need to write and maintain while building event-driven applications. Uh, well, the benefits of pipes are, you know, you can you essentially write less integration code, save cost uh, with filtering and built-in integration, source event in real time, reduce operational, uh, operational load. So you can also filter, for example, let's say you have events for, um, you know, order items, right? So you might want to fire up a workflow, uh, maybe step function or whatever that is, maybe when the order type is uh, a purchase, right? So filtering events is possible. You can enrich also, and basically you can call, um, you know, you can use API destination, which means you can call API, enrich the data, and then essentially pass it to the target. Uh, uh, these are, you know, some of the features that I, this is the image that I took from the uh, presentation, uh, you know, filter events, batch events, order events, high concurrency and advanced enrichment. Uh, if you ask a question like, how is this different from the traditional event, uh, event bus? So the answer is, uh, event bus is essentially many publisher to many consumers. Uh, pipes are essentially single publisher to a single consumer. Uh, uh, makes sense, hopefully. Uh, I have some use case which I, I wouldn't cover right now, but I want to jump into a demo. So for this demo, we are going to build a very simple pipe. So the goal over here is basically, you know, uh, if I quickly share my screen, the producers are going to produce messages. They're going to go into an SQS queue. And from this SQS queue, if the uh, order type is purchase, uh, we're going to use event bridge pipes to do the filtering part. If the order type is purchase, uh, 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 you know, we're going to pass to a step function. And you can see how fast I'll be able to build this uh, stuff. I might also transform while passing the data to the step function. So I'll, I'll show you everything in a demo. So the first thing that I need to do is I'm gonna create a queue. I'm gonna call this demo and see how fast I'm able to build stuff, demo queue. And again, this is sort of a hello world example, okay? So I'm gonna click on create queue. Here you can see the queue is created. Again, this is just a standard queue here. Now I'm heading over to the step functions and I'm gonna make a very simple st step function over here. So I'll click on the standard one. Uh, or maybe I want, uh, I'm thinking, do I need, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to use a, a hello world template. Okay. So here I'm going to say demo step, uh, just say demo. All right. I'm just going to name, name it demo. I'll leave everything to default and then I'm going to create. So I have a step function here. Okay. So if I go to step functions, I have that. Now, before you had to read, uh, you know, you had to, in, if you had to fire a step function from SQS, you had to read the code, you had to use a Lambda function. You don't need to do that. That's taken care by pipes. That's exactly the point. So uh, heading over to event bridge here, there's a new option called pipes. Uh, I'm going to close the sidebar, click on create pipes. Over here, you can name the pipe, whatever you like. I'm going to say, uh, 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 learn pipe, right? And here, here is the source. Now see how easy has become. I can select SQS, I can select my queue, that is the demo queue, I'm gonna click on next. Now here is a sample event, right? So basically, when you put an item into SQS, the payload would some, will look something like this, right? So here is a sample event, the data is inside the body, uh, body element, here you can see order type, etc., etc., etc. et cetera. Et cetera. Um, 
here you have a pattern which means I only want to fire my step function if the order type is purchased. So I have some code snippets that I'll be using here and again this code snippets will be available. So this is my pattern that I'll be using and I'll show you shortly. This means that hey when you, uh, so I'm using a prefix which where, so when the order type is purchased then and only then fire my workflow. So I'm gonna test. I should get a green checkbox that means it's great so I can click on that so which means I've done filtering now. Again previously you had to write a lambda function to do all these stuff right so again that's done enrichment you can call an api um, you know you can do enrichment through lambda function but i don't need enrichment for this demo so i'm gonna click next uh, my target is gonna be step function so i'll use a step function over here uh, i'm gonna select my step function that is the demo one you can select whether uh, i guess it's asynchronous that's great now here uh, what is this basically is um, uh, you know let me show you hold on so i will put sqs event one so say here the key is order i it's camel case right i might want to convert into a snake case so you can write a custom transformer here so i have a sample uh, uh, already uh, done for you so i'm gonna copy this so look what i said uh, if i can zoom in a little bit hopefully that that makes sense right um uh, can i collapse this no i cannot <laughs> So angle bracket dollar dot body, which means it says, hey, go inside the body, right? Over here. Ah, shit. <laughs> I can't highlight that. That's a little annoying though, but uh, hopefully they fix it. So this means that go inside the body attribute. Inside there, you'll find a key called order uh, types. And here I'm renaming the key uh, to essentially snake case. You know, it's just a simple uh, way for you guys to learn stuff, right? That's that. And then click on create pipe. I've already done that, right? Uh, so if you come now to pipes and I'll, I'll show you here, I have a pipe called my pipe. Now again, uh, this is uh, in a running state. Uh, and if you might ask, ask me the cost, it's I guess they said 40 cents for a million request. So now I'm going to insert some data into SQS and I want to see the step function. Okay, so let's see. So I have some code here. Again, this will be there in the GitHub section. No need to worry about that. So here I'll say, uh, I'll just pass in a different message here. All right, uh, and the order type is purchase, so the, uh, if it matches, it should fire my step function. So uh, I'm gonna run this, okay? So, okay, so the message has been inserted into the SQS, um, and at this point, it's gonna do the filtering, it's gonna do that um, uh, transform at the end before passing it to the target. So heading back to the step function, that's my st one that I made uh, before the demo, right? So I'll refresh here, so I can see the latest one. And over here, I'm gonna click on this one. When I do click here, and if I scroll down, observe, you see, automatically it did transform uh, my camel case key into a snake case. And here you can see, uh, you know, now you can basically fire up a custom workflows, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's literally that easy, you know, it, it makes things very easy. Again, quickly use case, uh, you can use, uh, you know, for example, SQS, uh, step functions. Previously you had to, you know, write uh, custom code uh, using Lambda function. You can do that, but rather I would prefer using pipes. Um, again, uh, here is an example uh, splitting Kinesis data stream into multiple, right? Uh, you could use pipes to do that. Again, you, you have to write lesser and lesser code now. That, that's the beauty. Uh, same thing with um, Kafka to API destination. That's possible. And here is an example, uh, I believe, for DynamoDB. So DynamoDB to EventBridge, right? So publish DynamoDB records changes to multiple AWS services without writing any code. So that's that's the beauty, right? So I hope you enjoyed a small demo of event bridge pipes and in the next upcoming videos, we'll, we'll learn some other patterns, maybe using Kinesis or maybe um, we'll also see the cloud formation, uh, uh, how, how, how to write that, we're gonna see that as well. Couple of things that I would say at the end of the video, since I was at the reInvent, uh, currently, uh, if you, you know, you're passing in events, they do not have a way to see the CloudWatch logs. Uh, they, it's on the high priority uh, for them. Uh, it does not support uh, concatenation of multiple pipes at the current moment. That's not uh, do, uh, possible at this point. Uh, um, and if you have any other questions, please let me know. Uh, if I know the answer, I'll let you know. Or if not, I'll ask someone uh, uh, and then I'll let you know, uh, as I said. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed an, an amazing demo and walkthrough on EventBridge Pipes. And if you have any questions, leave your question in the comments. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.